Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Hello. everybody. Good afternoon. It's good to see you. One more class. Let me share with you the topic for today's class. Okay. Today we have simple present short answers, uh, simple present questions with short answers, and also the conversation menu apartment. Today is Tuesday, September 13th, 2022. And this is the class number six. Okay, welcome everybody. Um, the objectives for today's class. By the end of this class, you will learn how to respond to just no questions in the simple present. Additionally, you will practice a conversation about an apartment, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. And objective number two, by the end of this class, you will learn how to form statements with there is and there are. We are going to learn more about that. Also, how to use some, no, and any when referring to different objects. So in the agenda, we have these activities. The activity number one is a recalling previous class is a game. The activity number two is simple present questions and short answers. Activity three, there is and there are. And finally, the activity number four, which is the wrap up. Okay. Well, guys, uh, this is going to be a game you're going to have. But before that, I, I need to take the attendance. Uh, to see who is or to check who is in the class today, okay? So, um, just give me one moment, one moment, and we are going to, I want to take the tennis, okay? One moment. Okay, give me one moment, please. Okay, so let's start. Let's see, with Daniel Quintanilla. Present coach, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Daniel. Okay, Daniela Magali. Present. Thank you, Daniela. Delmi Areli. Present teacher. Esmeralda. Esmeralda. Okay, thank you. Eh, Gabriela Ibai. Eh, Jacqueline. Present teacher. Ok, thank you. Jocelyn Gabriela. Present. Okay. Jonathan Vladimir. Oh, Jonathan has not connected yet. Ok, Jose Ángel Molina. Jose Vidal Vázquez. Present. Ok, thank you. Jose Karen Elizabeth. García Carpio. Ahí vemos a Karen, ¿verdad? Conectada. Catherine Yasmín. Margarita Elizabeth. Present. Thank you. Um, Mayra Arely Méndez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Nimian Elizabeth. Present. Okay. Victoria Leal. Present teacher. Jancy Melanie. Present. Jeremy Lisbeth. Okay. Okay. Uh, again, Esmeralda Elizabeth. Gabriela Abigail. Jonathan Vladimir. No está. Okay, thank you so much for uh, 
been here punctually in the class. Okay, let's start with um, with the game that I told you. We are going to have a game as a review of the previous class. Okay. So let me see the game. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's here right now. Give me a moment. Yes, it's here. Can you see it? Please let me know if you can see the game. Can you see my screen? Okay, thank you so much, Chancy. Okay, so we're gonna divide, well, it's says team one and team two, but because of the, because we're not together, but what we're gonna do is that I will ask you, I will ask everybody to tell me one number from one to 16, okay? Let's start with Jancy. Jancy, what number do you want from one to 16? Three? Okay, number three. Oh, other team loses them points. <laughs> but we are not working in teams. Um, but you can choose another number, Jancy. Uh, nine. Number nine. <laughs> okay, Jancy. <laughs> we can continue with my daddy. What number do you want, Mayra? Uh, 11. Okay, 11. This is where the smoke comes out of the house. Okay, this is the part of the house where the smoke comes out of the house. In El Salvador, we usually eat in the kitchen. But in United yeah. States, they have this in the living room because <laughs> when it is very cold, they uh, they set fire and the smoke comes out well, of the house. Mm -hmm. I don't have a smoke, but um, les quiero enseñar. Pueden ver. Es una turbo cocina ahorradora de leña. Ah. It's wow. great. What is it? <laughs> okay, but what part of the house is this? This is where the, the smoke comes out of the house. Okay. It's there. Or somebody else, maybe, remember? It started with C. Chimney, okay? Chimney. <laughs> yes, the chimney, okay? Good. Let's continue with Nimian. Nimian? One. Number one. This is where we eat. Where do we eat? With which part of the house do we eat? Where the do we eat? The dining room? In the dining room, yes. Excellent. Thank you, Nimian. Okay, now let's continue with Jose Vidal Vasquez. Jose Vidal, what number do you want? Two, four, five, six, seven, five. eight, five. Okay. Five. We use this to watch movies, series, the news, cartoons, etc. It is usually in the living room. What is it? We use it to watch movies, series, the cartoons, etc. The TV. TV. Yes, that's right. Okay, excellent. Okay, mm -hmm. we continue with, let's see, Catherine Guatemala. Catherine Yasmin? 
Number eight. Can you repeat the number? Eight. Okay. This is where we receive our post. Ah, okay. Yes, the post or the mail goes there. The postman put the letters or the mail in this place. Mm, you I receive a cell phone and a computer. It's true. Now it, it is like that. But uh, sometimes uh, we need to, we need this, uh, this is small box. Um, some people have it in the door, in the front door, or in the garden, because the receipts, letters, and those things are there. Okay. Email. The mail box, the mail box, or the letter box, okay? El buzón, okay? The mail box, okay? Thank you, Catherine. But yes, Catherine is very modern because nowadays, most of the information we receive it in the cell phone or in the email or in our computer. Okay, let's see Victoria Leal. Okay, uh, 10. Number 10, we park our cars here. In garage? Yes, that's right, the garage, Victoria. Great job, Daniel Quintanilla. It's your turn. Mm, number four. Number four. Oh, you go to first place. Yeah. You can choose another number. Sorry? You can choose other number. Another number. Uh, number seven? Number seven. We use this in the bathroom, in the kitchen, and on the roof of our house. Wow, we use this in the bathroom, mm. in the kitchen, and on the roof of our house. Se me vienen varias cosas a la mente, pero quiero ver. Utilizamos el baño, la cocina. No sé qué podrá hacer, Tichi. Ok, somebody else has an idea. Sí, que. Just a mirror. Lamps. Lamps, mirror. Water. <laughs> Let's see. Que hay muchas cosas que pueden ser. Oh, yes, it's true. <laughs> it's true. Okay. Let me see if I can find a picture so you can see this. A picture. Let me see if I can. Oh, I don't know if you can uh, look for it. <laughs> okay, so, okay, it's like this. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, in the losas, okay, we use it. Es el piso, no? No, los losas dice como un cielo falso. Eh, yeah. Something like that, okay. Yeah, good. In the bathroom, or they are more like the ceramic, right? In the bathroom, in the kitchen. Okay, interesting. Okay, thank you so much. Now the next is Daniela Magali. Daniela Magali, choose a number. Fifteen. Fifteen? Yes. Okay. This is the room underneath the roof. Huh? Mm. I'll ask 
actually there is a pupuseria in El Salvador. That is called with this name. Uh, no sé. <laughs> Y los planes de granderos, that is a pupuseria, a pupuseria restaurant, a pupusing restaurant. With this name, the room underneath the roof. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see, it's the attic. Okay, the attic, el attic, the attic. Okay, let's see, um, who's missing, Margarita? Number six. Okay. This is where we have many plants. Garden? Oh, yes. It's correct, Margarita. Okay. Gabriela, Abigail? Well, if, if, if it's possible, please open your camera, okay? It's easier for number. Number two, teacher. Number two, this is another name for the living room, but only in two works. Living room, another name. Oh. Um, I don't know, did you? Okay, let's see, let's check it. Okay. The sitting room, <laughs> the sitting room or lunch, okay? Or lunch. Okay, who's missing? Jacqueline? Um, number 12. Number 12. This is a small room where we keep our clothes. We keep our clothes there. Um. Oh, no, no, no. Help. Help. Closet. The closet? Closet. Yes, it's the closet. Okay, very que nice. Yo, que yo en una caja it? guardo mi ropa. <laughs> <laughs> or in a bag, right? In a, in a bag. bag. In a bag. Okay. Who's who's next? Somebody else? Jeremy? <laughs> Jeremy is back. Or Delmi, Adeline? Number sixteen. Number 16, this is where we hang lights. It is the top part of a room. Donde colgamos las lámparas es el, the top part of a room. La parte de arriba o de encima del cuarto, de un cuarto. What is that? Help me. <laughs> no, teacher, no sé. Okay. Okay, people, the students. She's asking for help. The roof? The roof. The, or the ceiling. Ah. Mm -hmm. The ceiling is el techo. Igual roof. Techo. Okay, and we have number 14. This goes around our garden. Ayer les decía de esto, va alrededor del jardín. Ah. It starts yeah. with F. The, the fence. Okay, the fence. And finally, this is where we shower. Where do we shower? Bathroom. In the bathroom, exactly. 
Excellent. Thank you so much for your participations, okay? Thank you, guys. Now let's continue with the class. That was a review for uh, our, I mean, review for vocabulary that we studied in new vocabulary too. Okay, so let's continue with the part of the class and we have this. Now, after the recalling previous class game, let's go over simple present questions and sure answers. Okay. Okay, ah, more vocabulary. Yesterday we were also uh, learning vocabulary, so maybe we can practice the pronunciation again. Okay, so please repeat after me. In the bedroom, we found, we can find night table, bed, closet, clock, TV, a fan, painting or picture, mirror, dresser, pillows, and shoe stand. In the living room, we can find a sofa, armchair, coffee table, lamps, TV stand, TV window, TV, windows, curtains, cushions, cushions on cojines, okay? Carpet, radio, fan, pictures, and a bookcase. In the bathroom, yes, as always, the toilet, the toothbrush, the toothbrush or the toothpaste, the shampoo and soap, mirror, towel, a cleaning kit, disinfectant, chlorine, detergent, sink, shower curtain. In the kitchen, we can find a stove, refrigerator, cabinet, microwave, dishes, table, blender, coffee maker, and toast oven. In the laundry room, we can find washing machine, drying machine, well, we don't usually have drying machine here. We, we use the sun, the sunshine. Clothes basket, hangers, detergent, softener, suavitel, right? The softener and an iron, an iron to iron our clothes, okay? Great. Now we have here this uh, conversation about my new apartment. I would like to have two volunteers to read the, and practice the conversation. One person to be Linda and one person to be Chris. Okay, so I need two volunteers. Who would like to, okay, Delmi is gonna be one and the other person? Delmi and and Hi. Jocelyn, okay. Delmi, you are Linda, and Jocelyn, you are Chris. You can start now. Get. With what I have a new apartment. That's a great. What it's like. It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, or a small big bedroom, a bathroom, and kitchen, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lucky View Street. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Thank you, please, and applause for an applause to Yoselin and Delmi, please, for their participation. Okay, you can use the reactions. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, thank you, Yoselin. Well, you can find this, this conversation in the platform mm -hmm. and you can practice there. You can listen and, and practice. Uh, for example, here in this conversation, I say, guess what? Adivina que, guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? 
It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lakeview Drive. On Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does he have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Okay. So this is the view of the apartment, right? Another apartment building. Okay, so that was the conversation. And now, as you could see in the conversation, it has, the conversation has some questions. Yes, no questions, for example. And the question is, does it have a view? Does it have a view? It here refers to what? ¿A qué se refiere el it? A una cosa o a un animal. Exactly. And in this conversation? Apartamento. Apartamento. The apartment, exactly. Se le pregunta. Tiene, tiene, ¿verdad? Porque dice have. Tiene el apartamento vista, una vista. Does it have a view? Le dice sí la tiene. Tiene una gran vista de otro edificio de apartamentos. ¿verdad? Does it have a view? Yes, it does. So, um, when we use, or when we ask just no questions, we have. We use do with I, you, we, and they. The verb in the base form and the complement. And the answer is yes, I, the subject, do. Yes, I do. Yes, you do. Yes, we do. Yes, they do. Or no, I don't. No, you don't. No, we don't. No, they don't. Do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. Do the bedrooms have windows? No, they don't. In this case, uh, bedrooms, if you notice, bedrooms is in plural, bedrooms. Do the bedrooms have windows? No, they here refer to bedrooms. No, they don't. Esto de significa esto, eh? bedrooms, the bedrooms. ¿Tienen los cuartos ventanas? No, ellas no tienen. O no tienen. Ok, in the third person, singular use auxiliary does. Right? Does. He, she, or it. The verb in the base form in the complement. And the answer will be yes, he does, yes, she does, or yes, he does. No, he doesn't, no, she doesn't. It doesn't. Example, does Elena live in an apartment? Answers? Yes, she does. She lives in an apartment. Does Elena live in an apartment? Yes, she does. She refers to Elena, ¿verdad? Yes, she does. She refers to Elena. Does the house have a garage? Does the house have a garage? No. No. It doesn't. It doesn't. And it, it's referring to the house, right? The house is it. Negative answer. No, it doesn't. No tiene. Tiene la casa garage. No, no tiene. Here, as you notice, the verb doesn't change. The verb is always in the base form. Okay? Very nice. Do you have any questions about these guys? Any questions about the yes, no questions? So far, so good? O si tenemos preguntas. Well, so we, far so good. So far so good. Okay. 
because now we are going to practice. It's time to practice. Okay, you can see here different, different things that we have at home. Okay, we have tables, bookcase, dresser, microwave, oven, refrigerator, pictures, lamp, sofa, desk, bed, television, rug, mirror, chairs, etc. What I want you to do is to write five questions. Write in this moment five questions about things in your house or in your partner's house. You are going to ask your partner the questions. For example, I can ask Mayra, does your bathroom have a mirror? Does your bathroom have a mirror? Yes, it does. Yes, it, it does. Excellent. It does. Yes, it does. Okay. I will ask another person another question. For example, um, uh, Jose Vidal, uh, do you have a television in your living room? Yes, it is. Does. Okay. The question is do you? Do you have a television in the living room? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Exactly. Excellent. Okay. okay. In this moment, please write five questions. Five questions. Okay. And later, when you finish, I will send you into breakout rooms and you are going to ask each other the questions. Okay. So let's work writing the questions, please.
esta esmeralda. No, ¿verdad? Okay, so how many questions have you finished? Who has finished three questions? Who has three questions? Two? Four? Five questions, you're finished with the five questions. Excellent. Okay, so I am going to send you to to the small groups and you ask the questions to your partners. Se, le hacen sus preguntas, se las pregunta a sus compañeros, que sus compañeros respondan, ¿ok? In English. Please. Let's go. Este, uh, ¿Quién quiere empezar? Okay. Do you have a microwave oven? O yes, I do. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, do you bedroom have a closet? No, it's done. Vidal nos escucha. Hola. Es que tengo un poco mala la red. Ah, ok, ok. Ok. ¿Quiere usted o una usted? Ay, qué sentido. Que si quiere hacernos una pregunta a usted a nosotras. Ah, ok. And does your does your kitchen have refrigeration? Yes, it do. Ah, ok. Jocelyn. Okay. Yes. ¿Me puede repetir la pregunta? Eh, Does your 
kitchen has refrigerator? Yes, I do. Okay. Yes, it does. Just be careful when you ask mm -hmm. questions. The way that... you ask, the way you answer. Así como pregunta si responde, porque le pregunto, does your kitchen have a refrigerator? Cuando, tengo una duda, cuando es con das, nosotros vamos a responder con, por ejemplo, yes, she does, no, she does. Sí, no, y cuando es con do, por ejemplo, si nosotros preguntamos, do you um, bathroom have a flower base? Entonces ahí sí vamos a responder con, por ejemplo, yes, I do, or no, I don't. Exactly. Sí, solo que la última pregunta que hizo sería, does your bathroom have? Mm -hmm. okay. Cuando algo es en singular, usamos en tercera persona, does. Primera. Pero ahí se podría responder coach con, eh, por ejemplo, yes, they, does. No, they, does, no. Sería it. Sí, el it es singular, solo es para una cosa. Es por ejemplo cuando preguntamos por las alas, si sería mm -hmm. it, porque se refiere como a un lugar determinado. No, se, no nos estamos refiriendo a una persona. Uh -huh. Does the living room or does your uh -huh. living room have a sofa? Yes, it does. It. it does. Pero uh -huh. si yo le pregunto a usted, Vidal, do you have a TV in your living room? Estoy preguntando a usted que si usted tiene una televisión en su sala. Entonces, como te pregunto a usted, yes, I do. Exacto. I do. Yes, I do. Uh -huh. Entonces, quiere decir que el das es como para en general y el do sería como para alguien específico. Vaya, así como yo les compartí en la presentación. Mira, yo les voy a poner aquí. Vaya, ven aquí, vean. Do lo usamos con I... Con you, con we y con they. I es yo, ¿verdad? You, usted, we, nosotros, they, ellos. Tanto cosas como personas. Y el das es para he, él, she, ella, solo una, ¿verdad? En it, una cosa. En singular. Yes, he does. Yes, she does. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. No, she doesn't. No, it doesn't. Por ejemplo, aquí Elena es ella. Does Elena live in an apartment? Yes, she does. Yes, she does, does the house have a garage? No, it no, does. does. Uh -huh. okay. Okay. okay, keep making the questions, please. Yeah. Do you have a bookcase? A book. Yes, a book, a bookcase. Bookcase. Ajá, un estante de libros o una librera. Uh -huh. No, no, I don't. No, I don't. Exactly, it's correct. Hi, teacher. Hello, did you finish making the question? Yes. 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 Okay. okay, I need to check another room. Maybe you can make other questions or you can practice your English. Okay. Uh, do, does your living room have a chairs? Hello, this is room number five. What's, what's the problem? No, no, acá preguntándole a... Pues fíjese, yo teacher, que, eh, bueno, estábamos aquí en, algún, en alguna duda de, de cómo habíamos hecho las preguntas. Eh, bueno, yo realmente les he hecho según el ejemplo que usted puso. Eh, Do you barroom have a mirror? En, de esa forma hice todas las preguntas. Eh, ahora la duda está en que... Eh, 
la forma de responder. Si vamos a, a responder con, con tú o como está el ejemplo que nos enseñó, que es yes, yes it's doesn't, o yes, it doesn't. Ok, bueno, depende de la pregunta que hagan, así van a responder. Si usted usa el auxiliar do, se va a responder con do, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, do you have a pet? Do you have a pet in your house? ¿Tienes una mascota en tu casa? Do you have a pet in your house? Yeah, I do. Yes, I do. Or, no, I don't. Okay? But if I use does, for example, porque estoy preguntando sobre un objeto en particular, por ejemplo, does your bedroom have a closet? Does your bedroom have a closet? No. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't, ¿verdad? Porque estoy preguntando, does the bedroom have? ¿Tiene su habitación un closet? No, it doesn't. No, no tiene, no, it doesn't. ¿Okay? Entonces, como pregunté con el auxiliar das, voy a responder con el das. No, it doesn't. O no, it does not. ¿Eso responde a su pregunta, niña? Sí, eh, prácticamente sería eh, si estoy preguntando por algo específico en algún lugar. Si, si gusta, léame sus preguntas. Si yo le digo, se están bien redactadas. Ok. Eh, do you bear room hey a desk? Ah, en ese caso, mire, sería does your bedroom. Porque your bedroom es una cosa en tercera persona. Singular. Es que tal vez, tal vez, teacher, ahí la confusión con, con la compañera fue porque yo le pregunté, le hice la primera pregunta, le dije, do you have book, eh, ¿cómo se dice librera? Book, book. Bookcase. Book, bookcase in the office. Y ella me dijo, no, no, y hacen entonces yo le di ahí no ahí, ahí no no era ahí porque le estoy haciendo una pregunta directa a ella do you have uh -huh. si ¿Tienes? No ¿Tienes, leer, ajá, tienes uh -huh. ajá do you have entonces yo creo que ahí solamente la respuesta si no tenía era no hay don no hay don y si tenía ya hay do y ahí fue donde nos confundimos porque todas las respuestas ella las 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 tiene con el it pero Ajá. creo que ahí está la confusión, dependiendo de lo que usted decía, dependiendo, bueno, según oh. entendí yo ahorita, Ajá. dependiendo cómo pregunte, así respondería. Exacto, y por eso hice este ejercicio, porque yo sé que iban a salir diferentes preguntas y, y a ver si pues se podía responder, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, en este caso, does your bed, ¿cómo era su pregunta? Does your bedroom? Does your bedroom have a desk? Have a desk, ok. Does your bedroom have a desk? No, it doesn't. Uh -huh. No, it doesn't. Y es él, él, lo que usted explicaba, que el it hace referencia al, al, al lugar o al objeto que estamos mencionando, o hasta un animal. Que, que es el it. Sí. Por ejemplo, your bedroom se refiere a su cuarto, a su habitación. Es una cosa. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok, bueno, por el tiempo vamos a regresar a la sala principal. No sé si hay más preguntitas o algo, si no lo resolvemos ahí. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, that's Thank you. Bueno, ya me aclaró. Okay, thank you so much. How was the practice? Good. Algo, 
nos topamos ahí con dudas, pero después la aclaración fue bastante bien ahí, ahí ya, 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 ahí donde está. Ok, thank you Daniel, thank you Daniela. <laughs> ok, um, good, let's continue now with the other topic that I want you to uh, clarify any doubts. Uh, this is, well, we already had this conversation when, in which we use there is and there are. Okay, but in this, in this occasion, we are going to see there is and there are, but with other words. For example, here, in singular, there is a, o there is an, si luego va una palabra que empieza con su nido vocal, y luego tenemos que mencionar un object. For example, there's a bed in the bedroom. Hay una cama en la habitación. There's a lamp on the night table. Hay una lámpara en la mesa de noche. There's a lamp. There is a TV in the living room. There's a TV in the living room. There is no picture on the wall. También podemos usar el there is con no para decir que no hay. There is no picture on the wall. No hay una pintura en la pared. Ahora, en, en plural, that was singular. En plural, pues, vamos a ver cómo podemos usar las palabras son, no o un número, plus the objects. Como es plural, vamos a usar are, que es para plural. There are, significa hay. There are some, hay algunos. There are no, no hay. There are five, hay cinco. Y luego mencionamos los objetos en plural. Por ejemplo, there are some chairs in the kitchen. Hay algunas sillas en la cocina. There are three armchairs in the living room. Hay tres eh, sillones, ¿verdad? En la sala. There are three armchairs. Chairs, it's in plural. And with no, there are no flowers in the garden. No hay flores en el jardín. There are no flowers in the garden. But this is plural, okay? In plural, we can use some, no, and a number. Ahora, in negative, there is not plus a or an plus the object. There isn't or there is not a table in the kitchen. No hay una mesa en la cocina. There is not a mirror in the bathroom. No hay un espejo en el baño. In plural. In plural, we, again, we use there are no and we can use any. Any significa no hay, vea, ninguno. Ninguno. There are not any objects. There are not any cushions on the sofas. No hay ningún cojín en los sofás. There aren't any cushions on the sofas or there are not any cushions on the sofas. There aren't any books on the table. No hay ningún, li ningún libro, no hay libros, ningún libro. O ningún, o, yeah, sí, no hay ninguno. Los libros. En la mesa. No hay libros en la mesa. No hay ningún libro en la mesa. Ok. So, el any lo usamos solamente en oraciones negative, negativas. Only in negative sentences. Any solo se usa en negativo y en preguntas. Negativo y preguntas. Negative and questions. En cambio, el some se usa solamente en afirmativo y significa algunos, pero solo en afirmativo. ¿Ok? Y aquí tenemos como un resumen del there is and there are. Recuerden, con singular there is only one thing, solo una cosa. We use the is. Singular, a, uh, an, uh, or no. There is a boy, there is a book, there is an apple, there is a car, there is a woman, there is no a book, there is no an apple, there is no a car, okay? For describing rooms or pictures. And we have there are two or more things. 
plural, right? Plural. Two or more things we use are, and we can use some affirmative, any negative, or in, we can use no. For example, there are two oranges, there are three people, there are five glasses, there are six women, there are four girls. Aquí estamos usando un número exacto. O podemos decir algunos, no sabemos número exacto, pero sí sabemos que hay algunos. Por ejemplo, there are some tomatoes in the refrigerator. There are eh, some people on the street. There are some women in my class. Negative. There aren't any oranges. There aren't any people in the room. There aren't any glasses in the kitchen cabinet. There aren't any women, okay? Or there are not girls. There are no glasses, there are no oranges, there are no tomatoes, okay? So this is like a summary of the use of there is and there are. Okay. Now it's time for the wrap up. We only have three minutes and I will send this, uh, this link, this exercise link so you can do it for homework because we don't have enough time. But the most important is that you continue doing the, the exercises in the platform. Mantienen hasta mañana después de clase para terminar el ejer los ejercicios de la sección 3 y el midterm. Sé que aún no hemos llegado allí, pero mañana en la clase sí. Mañana vamos a ver jobs and occupations en WH questions. Ya las vimos un poquito, pero las vamos a ver más en detalle. Y más práctica mañana en la clase. Tomorrow in the class. So it's an important class. Please don't miss it. And in this moment, I would like some volunteers to tell me or to complete these statements. Necesito algunos voluntarios para que completen estas oraciones y den ejemplos de preguntas eh, para demostrar lo que se aprendió en esta clase. ¿Ok? Solamente, teacher, eh, una pregunta. ¿Cuál es la diferencia o cuándo vamos a usar el no con el not? Eh, bueno, en ese caso, cuando va a usar there is not a o there is no a. O sea, no hay, no hay mayor diferencia. Usted puede decirla de las dos formas para indicar que no hay algo. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Yo pensé que cumplía alguna regla gramatical o, o algo, pero no. Es como, por ejemplo, yo puedo decir, I don't have any idea. No tengo ninguna idea. Yeah. I don't have any idea. Pero también puedo decir, I have no idea. No tengo ni idea. No tengo ninguna idea. I have no idea. Entonces, así. Así funciona el English. <laughs> ok. Now I need some volunteers to complete, please. You can say living room or kitchen or bedroom or garden, whatever. Okay. No voluntarios, victims then. Okay, only three volunteers. Only one. <laughs> okay, Vidal, Jose Vidal. Okay. In my living room, there are there is there are uh, sofa. There is and a sofa. It's only one or two or more. There are there are two. Ah, okay. There are two sofas. Mm -hmm. And there is there is a TV. Mm -hmm. 
let me, let me, let me. There, there is a coffee table. Okay. Uh, there is video game. Etc. Okay, thank you. Now in my bedroom, Jancy. In my bed, in my bedroom, there is a night table. Um, pictures. And there are in pictures. Okay, thank you, Yancy. And the last question, does your house have a... Somebody else, Maida? Maybe a question. My house has a big garden. Okay, that's nice. In, in a question, how could you ask me that question? We cannot hear you. Creo que usted me silenció. No, aquí la solicité. <laughs> Okay, okay. Does your house have a um, big garden? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes, very nice. Okay, so that was the class for today. I don't know if you have any comments, questions, suggestions. Or so far so good. Permítanme que se me perdió aquí. Ok. Yes. Any questions or comments? No? Ok. So I will send you the link in a moment. Give me a moment. Don't, please don't go. I will send you the link over here in the chat. But I had a problem. No, man. Well, um, I will, okay, I will send it in WhatsApp because I have a problem. I don't know why I cannot send it to you at this moment, but I will, okay? So don't forget to uh, finish your exercises and it was a pleasure to see you and I will see you tomorrow, okay? Have a nice afternoon, bye. Thank you, see you later. Bye. Bye tomorrow. See you tomorrow. tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.